Today I'm going to be talking about a pretty ubiquitous piece of kitchen equipment, the plastic cutting board, and what you'll be wanting to replace it with after you watch this video. So pretty much everyone has a plastic cut cutting board. They're cheap, they're resilient, you can drop them, they don't absorb food, and they're pretty easy to sanitize. That is, until you actually start using them, and after a couple of months they look something like this. Pretty gross, right? And it's not just gross to look at. Each of those cuts is almost impossible to clean properly. This makes it an ideal breeding ground for bacteria, which can then contaminate your food. Now, if that's not bad enough, what do you think has happened to all the plastic that was in those gro grooves? Where did it go? If you've ever sawn through a piece of wood, you know that sawdust goes everywhere. The same is happening with your plastic cutting board. Every time you cut through, little microscopic pieces of plastic are being worn off. And where do you think they might go after this too? Many of them are going to be embedded in your food. You're then going to cook it, eat it, and digest pieces of plastic cutting board. And if you've ever read anything about the dangers of plastic, you're probably not going to be wanting to use one anymore. So, what's the first alternative? Probably what's going to come to mind is a classic wooden cutting board. They look a lot better, but they have a lot of the same problems as the plastic cutting boards. They score easily, they can crack, and this leaves perfect grass for bacterial growth too. They do, however, look a lot better, and so they're great for presenting food, especially something that's dry, which is why I kept mine. The next alternative could be marble. It looks fantastic. It's generally non-reactive, so it's not going to contaminate your food. They're also resistant to wear, so they're not going to wear down as quick and score. However, as good as they look, their price reflects that. So they're out of budget for most people. This leaves us with my preferred alternative, the glass cutting board. Glass is non-reactive, so it's not going to contaminate your food. It's also hard enough that after years of use, it's still pretty much free from wear. So you might be thinking, if glass cutting boards are so great, they're probably similar price to marble. Well, thankfully you're wrong. You can actually buy small ones like this in the bowl store. I quite like the one with the background because I don't lose it on my counter. But even though this one was more expensive, I've had it for five years. So I've saved a lot of money over a plastic one that I have to replace every few months. Now we all know that doll stores are not always the greatest at keeping items like this in stock. So you may be unwilling to drive around hunting for one. So for your convenience, I included a couple of Amazon links below that, will get, that are reasonably priced and will be sent straight to your door. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you're going to be getting a glass cutting board sometime soon. Thanks, have a good day.